All right, well, welcome to Pennsylvania once again. I am back in Port Clinton, Pennsylvania, here in uh, Schuylkill County, not too far from the border with Berks County. And we're gonna get to the John Bartram Trail, also known as the Schuylkill River Trail. It's a rail trail. We hiked a section of it maybe a month ago, back down near Hamburg in Berks County, though. And uh, I parked, well, the Appalachian Trail goes through Port Clinton as well. And the last time I hiked the John Bartram Trail, we, had, we hiked to the intersection of those two trails. A little, had a little bit of issue trying to find parking in town, this is, which is why I parked right off Route 61. There's a little parking lot. I guess there is a place in town here where you can park, but it was pretty full. And then everywhere else is all these no trespassing signs. I think the locals get a little tired of people coming to Port Clinton looking for a place to park. But I think the town of Port Clinton could work on that a little bit. I think they got, there's a lot of recreation here. There's, these two trails are very popular and they should probably have like a nice designated area for that. But anyway, but whatever. <laughs> Doesn't really relate to this video, it's just a thought for the town of Port Clinton. Make things a lot easier and more accessible for people. Might solve some of the issues as well with people parking in people's lawns. Anyway, let's uh, we gotta walk through town a little bit and get to the, to the trail. I gotta walk through the rail yard here yet. And right up there is our trail. You can see the white marks of the Appalachian Trail. The Appalachian Trail actually crosses right over this rail yard. Here in Port Clinton. There's the white blazes. Oh, you know, it even says Appalachian Trail right there. Alright, and our other trail is right atop these steps. Alright, made it to the top. Like I said, last time we were here, we came up from that way, going down towards Hamburg, and we stopped right here because so I think I actually stopped took a break right here so we're gonna continue on up that way yeah and I should mention that because last time we were here just down there was that place called Brady's spring not sure if you remember that but uh, I didn't quite know what it was I mean, there's a spring there we did find a foundation but I couldn't find any information online about it that's why it's called Brady's spring so I'm assuming some guy lived there, his name was Brady, <laughs> but uh, sometimes you can't find information. So away we go. I have never been down this way, so this will all be new to me. And I know the last section we did, there was a lot of highway traffic and stuff, but this time we get kind of away from all that. A bit more quieter section back here. Not entirely how, short, how far I'll go. There is another parking area way down here but I tried to actually get to that one day but it's, unfortunately it's, it's on state game lands and it's still gated off not sure why they I could go off on that too I don't understand the game commission sometimes there's a nice big parking lot right next to this rail trail but they the road leading down to it is gated off it's like they don't want people enjoying stuff anyway I'm gonna let that go it's kind of frustrating Actually, it is archery season now, so I thought that road would be open for the hunters, but it's still locked shut. I actually had a talk with the homeowner that lives there as well. He actually has quite a few issues with the game commission and that locked gate, because anyway, I won't go into all that, but it's just kind of interesting. All right, so enough complaining about parking and gates. Now let's just enjoy, it's a beautiful September day. It's September 7th. Oh, this is Labor Day. We're just gonna enjoy this beautiful section of trail. Put the negative things out of our mind. Yes, I just noticed these trees, the white bark. So these are either, uh, we have gray birch in Pennsylvania and uh, I think what they call paper birch. But it's not terribly common right in this area. It's kind of neat to see it. In some sections of PA, these grow everywhere. Not so much here. All right. I'm 
not sure if it's showing up in the video, but because as soon as I turn the video on, it doesn't. But there are some leaves already starting to fall. There goes one right there. So more and more, it's looking and feeling more fall-like. There goes some more leaves. These ones aren't too colorful yet, because you can see them on the path as well. But soon, trails like this will just be ablaze with color. But we'll take the green for a few more weeks yet. We found another friend along the trail, because I've showed these in other videos. It's the American giant millipede. By giant, it doesn't mean like they're like two feet long, but they're bigger than most other millipedes around here. All right, we'll let him go on his journey. And here's our first sign of anything like railroad history wise. There's some, just some foundations here. Not quite sure what they were. There's like a signal tower here or something, but anyway. You know, a couple of places off along the side of the trail look like there might have been some potential cellar holes or houses at one point. Anyway. A lot of people out here though today as well. Mostly on bikes. And wouldn't it be cool to have a bear just kind of walk across the trail here? Because if you watched my uh, most recent camping adventure upstate in uh, Potter County, Lyman Run State Park, you saw that bear. Prior to starting this YouTube channel, I, I had only ever seen one bear, black bear, out in the wild. Now it's from a distance. And since doing this, I think, it's, I think I'm up to five now that I have actually on video this year so far. It's always cool to have a bear sighting. There's not too many large mammals like that here in Pennsylvania so to see just a huge black <laughs> bear come across it's pretty cool. Well here's a little critter. That is a Katie did. They're the ones that make that loud noise late summer evenings that loud rasping noise. Katie dids. He's just a little one though. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you're from this region of the country, you are familiar with that sound that the Katie Dids make. It's KT Did. It's all one word. I think they get called other names as well, depending on where you're from. And the males make that loud noise, and depending on where you live, it can be almost a, a deafening sound. Uh, when I used to live on a farm, the farm I always talk about. In the evenings, man, it would just be, it was almost deafening, but I loved that noise. Actually, when I went to college, I actually, one night, one summer, I came back and I actually tried to tape that sound so I could listen to it down in college because college was in town and they didn't have that. There was bugs in town, so I missed that sound. Some people, it drives them nuts, that sound, but I, I always kind of love it. It's the sound of late summer, late summer nights. Of course, the males make that noise to attract females. I guess the females find it attractive. <laughs> All right, so I see something potentially interesting over here. I saw a concrete structure over here. Not quite sure what that was. I was hoping it was like a tunnel entrance into a like a culvert or something, but not quite sure what's going on here. All right, so I'm going to take advantage of these rocks in this nice little shaded area with the rhododendrons growing. I'm going to take a little break. It is lunchtime. Yeah, so one of the things we'll be having for lunch is this. Smoky beef sticks. 
because this was a gift. I shared this, I think, uh, when I was camping last weekend. I didn't eat it then. I was going to save it. Hickory flavored. Looks pretty good. Let's try this together. I love hickory flavored things. Yeah, that's good. A little bit shaded out, I think, there, but... Yeah, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> people riding a bike past. They all kind of look at you weird. Because most people, a lot of people look at my... My external microphone has one of those, uh... Like, they call it a dead cat. It, it helps to uh, muffle the wind noise. I always have that on. Like a big gray. It looks like a squirrel. Every time people... When people walk past me, or when I'm filming, or biking, they all kind of just look at my, my, my camera thing, like, what's that up there? So, but yeah, it's for the wind noise. That's why when it's really windy outside, you don't hear that uh, that wind noise, that annoying wind noise in the camera. You can kind of hear the wind sometimes, but it's not that loud, annoying sound that you hear in some videos. So, all right, let's finish our yummy hickory flavored beef stick. And away we go again. I think that parking lot I was trying to get to is not too far up this way. Not sure, not sure how far, I don't know if I'll turn around there or if I'll come back. Because I know if you keep on going, there's an old bridge that goes across the Schuylkill River. I heard they're redoing that because it is part of the rail trail here. I'm not sure if that's open or not. Might save that for another day. Yeah, so our scenery has changed a little bit. It may not look like it on camera, but we're no longer like right along the steep cliff side or the hillside. We're kind of like in a valley. Different types of trees and everything. I know we'll be crossing a creek up here somewhere. Still haven't figured out if I'm going to stop up here or keep going. I'll have to check the time. I mean, it's a beautiful day. I, I, I don't know. I might as well just keep going, but we'll see. You know, the farther I go this way, you know, the farther I have to return back. They keep that in mind too. Yeah, so here it is. I see a, a sign or has a P on it for parking. Oh, here it says Auburn Bridge, 1.4 miles. So that's only as far as I have to go. Yeah, here to be the parking area. Yeah, check this place out. Decent sized parking area, but you can't access it. Which is kind of, I don't know. All right. Yeah, they even have some signs here. Well, maybe it's because, like, see those yellow uh, posts up there? It looks like they're going to put a gate there. And there was one, there's a set of them up there as well, those yellow posts. So maybe they're going to put gates here. And you might think, well, what's the big deal about having gates on the rail trail? Well, currently, you could get a vehicle from the parking lot down through here. And then, you know, some people would drive their vehicles on the rail trail, which is not allowed. So maybe, maybe that's why they haven't opened the access gate to the gate to this access road is because these gates aren't installed yet that's the only thing I can think of otherwise it doesn't really make much sense to have a huge parking lot here for this rail trail but not allow people to actually use it so that's the only thing I can think of unless you know different it just seems kind of I don't know anyway like I said we're not gonna focus on that I, you know I'm gonna continue on if it's only 1.4 miles to the bridge, I think I'm going to do it. Go ahead and do it. I know it adds another almost three miles to my hike, but let's go do it. Let's check out this bridge. Yeah, these are the yellow posts I was talking about. Sometimes they put a gate across here, or sometimes they put another post in the middle that's removable. You can, like, lower it and raise it up to prevent vehicles from driving through. So maybe, I don't know. Like I said, it's the only thing I can think of. We have a little bridge to cross over Stony Creek. 
This is not the bridge I was talking about, the Auburn Bridge. Nice little stream. There's another sign up here, I want to see what this says. That is the way. This says, Welcome to Schuylkill County. All right. Yeah, scenery has definitely changed now. Someone's little private pond is down there. It's all private property on either side now. I'm kind of curious if there's another parking lot up here or not, because I'm seeing some people, because usually when people go up this way, they eventually come back and you see them again, but I'm seeing some people that I didn't see before. So I'm just kind of curious. There's more parking up here. So when we get to this bridge, I will definitely be taking a nice long break there. I wasn't planning on coming this far today. I was going to stop at that parking lot back there and turn around and go back, but just kept going. So but I do have extra water in my pack. I always bring, make sure I have extra in case because I do stuff like this. I don't always do what I plan, so I bring extra stuff along. Yeah, so just off trail here is an invasive plant I want to share with you. If I remember correctly, this is called a mile a minute, I think. It has like little tiny little thorns on it. it just kind of strangles out everything here. I think that's what it's called, mile a minute, because it seems to grow a mile a minute. I think it has another name too. Uh, I could have that wrong, but yeah, here it is just kind of growing everywhere. It's horrible to walk through because there's just these tiny little, I don't know if you can see them on if it shows up, there's tiny little thorny little things, not quite thorns, but anyway, stick to your clothing. And where, oh where is this bridge? I feel like I've gone more than 1.4 miles since that sign. I think we made it. I hear water. I see like a fence up here. And these people up ahead of me have just stopped as well. So here's the river. Does it look like they, uh, I'm not sure if they're working on the bridge or not. Well, I was just chilling out and talking with those people for quite a while. It's kind of fun to meet people on the trail sometimes. Yeah, but here is, here is the bridge back there. They have not uh, even started on it. Of course, there's a sign here, the opening of the Auburn Bridge to com be completed in 2020. I don't think that's gonna happen. As of September, what is it, 7th? But you can step up on the picnic table here. Yeah, you can see it's in a, Pretty sorry condition. It's actually kind of like a little curve to it. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm not I'm not walking out on this one. Those are all rotten right in the middle there. So but you can see the, the Schuylkill River down there. I might try and take a few pictures from the others from from down here maybe we'll see. There is a uh, modern railroad bridge down there. And some people that uh, bike along here, they will take their bikes down. There's a trail and they'll cross that bridge. Because I think the, uh, the rail trail does continue on past this bridge. I hear people down there. There's like, oh, there's some kayaks down there. So yeah, we are not crossing the bridge today. Although I guess if I really, really wanted to, I could, but I think I'm gonna pass on that. Just, it's a lot more narrow. I know I've crossed railroad trestles in the past, but this one's also a lot more narrow than some of those. And like I said, this one's pretty rotten. But I hiked, it took me four miles to get here. That couple, that group I was talking with, they said it's four miles from here to Port Clinton, so I have four miles to go to get back to my girl, Jeep. But before we go, let's take a closer look at this cool bridge.
Yeah, that's a drop off down there. Yeah, you can hear it. there are lots of kayakers. It's hard to see, but down there is the modern railroad bridge, and they're going under that bridge. There's like little, it's called like little chutes that the kayak goes in, goes whoosh, drops in, gives a fun little ride. I don't know if you can kind of make out the white water. It's, there's too many trees, kind of. It looks like they kind of go in and bring their kayaks back up and then go in again. Looks like fun. But anyway, we made it to the bridge. Still a pretty cool little piece of history. They don't really have any information on board here about how old the bridge is or anything, but someday you'll be able to walk or ride your bike across it, but not right now. I'm guessing things got delayed because of the whole, well, you know what's all going on in the world right now? The whole shutdown pandemic thing. I'm guessing that had to do with, to do with it. Actually, I should talk to a number of people here. One older fellow actually donated couple hundred dollars to the building of this bridge and he's like he's there talking to me he's like I wonder you know anyway he's kind of wondering why it's not done yet but I'm kind of wondering myself where these kayakers put in at if there's a spot because this looks like a nice place to kayak the water looks nice and deep It'd be cool to go under this bridge as well just kind of wondering if there's a put-in area not too far up here anyway because I hear more people coming down all right, well, we're gonna hit the trail here again. I do have, I think I told you, I have about four miles to hike back to the Jeep, back to Naomi. All right. So on that note, I am gonna end the video here. I got a bit of a walk back to where I need to be. But uh, as the other people said, it's, it's slightly downhill from here. Very slight, very slight downhill railroad grade. I don't think it's really gonna help me much. All right, everybody else that's been here has been on bike. Only one on foot. All right, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you around.